I finally got my acceptance letter into Nikita's secret fan club, and I can now give my first impressions on Arena. And it's basically this. The actual gameplay is good, however there are some downsides. Let's start with gameplay because that's the most exciting thing and I need to retain an audience for subscriber stonks, so be retained. Currently only ranked mode is available, but there are four game modes, however only two of those are available, one of which is Team Fight, where two teams of five duke it out in a Warzone Gulag format elimination deathmatch. If you die, you're out for the round and you get to watch your teammates try to make up for your poor performance. First team to win five rounds wins the match, and then you get to look at the basic post-game scoreboard, earning progress, experience, etc. type of thing. Then you got the other game mode called Shootout Tournament, where either six teams of two or four teams of three compete in a similar format to the team fight mode. For this mode, it's the first team to win three rounds wins the set, standings adjust, and the next set of teams fight. In the meantime, all the players who are not participating in the combat sit up in the stands like disgruntled hockey fans and talk about how pissed they are, then finally throwing food out into the rink. So how do the rounds go? You spawn in, you sit there with your face pressed to the door eagerly awaiting the announcer to scream in the final Russian word before the gates open, and then you get your chance to run out and be head -ized. But before that, you have the opportunity to experience the combat of Tarkov that we all know, love, and hate in a quicker, more fast-paced environment where people will take more risks because it doesn't matter as much if they die because you don't lose your kit or have to spend 15 minutes searching for a new game. You get in there and you run up a ramp, shoot a guy, and then you're running and a damn fireman runs around the corner and you spray his ass down, missing half your shots in the process, and sprint up another ramp like you're the Terminator, jump around the corner and also miss a lot of shots but still get the kill. You whip around a corner and blow some guy's muffin cap back, then you see some guy far away and get a nice headshot. You get shot and have to back around a corner and heal while you're scared someone's gonna push you and of course get smoked by some John Wick action movie star swinging you harder than an old man's balls in the breeze. And there's even a kill cam so you can watch it through the fisheye lens like it's a skateboarding video from the early 2000s, but instead of shredding at the skate park, your insides are being shredded by bullets. Or the round can go in the most frustrating way possible and someone chucks a grenade from spawn and randomly kills you right after you walk out the door. If the round goes too slowly and everyone wants to rat like assholes, eventually a control point will become unlocked and whatever team is able to capture it wins the round. This is usually enough to get to the round end, however sometimes rats will refuse to move for so long that AI kill squads get released into the arena and the chips will fall where they may. And it is Tarkov, so of course friendly fire is enabled and you have dumbass teammates that clearly see you're their teammate and continue shooting you anyway. Now for the loadout system, it works like this. Pick a loadout to use in game. Depending on how well you do, you get XP progress towards unlocking a better loadout that has a similar theme to the loadout you're using. Like for example, you go from having this shitty single shot AK to this better full auto nice. AK for one school of loadout. This system isn't a deal breaker for those of us who Nikita already has in his clutches because we're used to and have grown to love the abuse. However, to a new player, they're spawning with this shitty single shot AK and no dust cover and T3 armor and they get killed by some Giga Chad with a meta kitted out full auto assault rifle, a Thor armor, a Wendy helmet with the chops and everything. This sucks ass, which is kinda one of the major downfalls of regular Tarkov, except regular Tarkov wipes, and according to Google, apparently BSG confirmed that Tarkov Arena mode will not wipe, so you keep all your progress always, which is a positive or a negative based on how you look at it. Also, the loadout you pick for a match is what you're stuck with for the entirety of the match, so if you mess up and take a loadout that sucks for the situation, oops, teehee, I guess you're stuck with it. Hopefully they changed this, but they're stubborn and took years for them to finally make recoil realistic. There are five maps for you to play. Look at them. I'm not going to read them out loud. You can queue for them individually, queue for a combination of maps, or if you just want to play and don't give a shit, queue for all of them. Last thing I'm going to talk about is the communication. You can talk to your teammates through team proximity chat or press J to take out your radio and communicate to your team from wherever you are. Yeah, it's kind of a nightmare for solo players to communicate, and when you're five randoms against a five stack sitting in a Discord call together, you're just at a disadvantage. But that's true of every single competitive game that allows you to queue into lobbies with all your buddies and have a full team. And that's basically what Tarkov Arena is. If you like this video, then you should hit the like button to reflect your thoughts, and then you should also subscribe and comment. Thank you, good night, and don't forget to give your pet his or her medication if they're on a medication.